you guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at another undisclosed location because guess what? We have something very special, almost kind of historic in a way. This is the all new for 2021 Toyota Supra 2.0. So what that means is this is the first Supra ever to have an inline four turbocharge engine. But before we dive into this Supra, let's talk a little bit about Supra history. So we're now in the fifth generation, Mark V, as many of the aficionados and fans call this generation of the Supra. Out of all the different generations, this one though has had the most controversy, debates, arm wrestling, tag wrestling. And the reason why is, is because of that connection between Toyota working with BMW. Now 2020, the car came to market, had that inline six, that straight six turbocharged engine. For 2021, they actually not only came out with this car, but also upgraded the 3.0 Supra. I'll leave that video at the end of this one, a link to it. Make sure you watch that to see what the changes are for that. But this vehicle here, it's all about bringing that perfect balance of price with performance and the name. And that's the big goal for Toyota is to bring a value to the Supra and to the people that want that Supra name and want the sports car fun. So let's go ahead, dive into this all new 2021 Supra 2.0 and see what makes it such a bargain. Right off the bat, what I love about it is that for the most part, you're not gonna be able to tell the difference to the untrained eye, which I'm gonna train your eyes in this review, to the untrained eye, it looks like a Supra. It looks like the Mark V Supra. So you're gonna get that same headlight design. Really, really love the housing. It's grown on me a lot, especially the way it integrates into that hood area and the side of the front fascia. You're gonna get still full LEDs, LED daytime running lamps, and LED turn signals. Now, the one thing you're also gonna get are those fake vents. So we have the fake vents on the side, half of the bottom vent is fake, and I'm still gonna have to zonk that. It would be nice if they would've went in a little direct, different direction with that material or made them a little bit more functional. But the great news is you're still gonna get that wonderful fl uh, flat black front lip splitter that sticks out. It's gonna help channel the air down the side of the car, give you downforce, and also get air into the front radiator and intercooler. Now, as we come across the nose, this one, that Renaissance red, really a beautiful color. Love the way the splitter comes all the way across the midsection and just extends out. All that air is gonna get force fed in here. And that's the great news about this car. This isn't about a watered down Supra just for people that want the name. This car, even with the inline four turbocharged engine, is still promising a lot of performance, especially for those hard earned dollars. But from the front of the end of the business, FT1 all the way. That was the concept car where they got a lot of the design from. But everywhere you look, it just has some really, really nice angles. And I'm telling you, this car, it stands out on the road, not only because of the bright red, but because of the unique design. Now, when we get up onto the hood, I think it was so smart aesthetically to take the body lines from the nose and then bring it up onto the hood and then have it cascade over down the side. The hood is also the top of the fender area. So this whole hood is gonna rise. And like I said, new things for 2021. Now, when we get to the side of the business here, here is your number one way to tell that this is a two liter inline four turbocharged engine Supra, these wheels. So these are unique to the 2.0. They are 18 inch. Instead of being forged, like on the 3.0, these are cast aluminum. I like the machined aluminum finish some dark gray metallic, and then behind these wheels, instead of having 13.7 inch rotors, you have a 13 inch rotor, all four corners, standard calipers, no adaptive suspension. So that's where they were able to kind of tweak some of the expenses to bring performance, but also bring that value. And if you look, these are still those Michelin Pilot Super Sport tires are gonna give you the stick, gonna give you the grip, but also give you the durability. If you're wondering, well, what's the size of this? You're still gonna get the same dimension. So instead of it being a 19 inch wheel, this is an 18 inch wheel, 18 by nine. So that means you have the 255 on the width and then a 40 series sidewall out back, it gets a little bit wider. But let's go ahead and go that direction. Top of the hood, yes, we have another fake vent. It, it does look good though. If this was a heat extractor, I think that I'd be willing to accept all the other ones this would be perfect for a heat extractor, especially when you're looking at performance, because remember, heat 
takes away performance. Go down the side, you're still getting the same beautiful lines. That side sill extends out. It's gonna channel the air down the car. We're gonna have air hit this other fake vent. That's gonna help channel the air. So even though it's a fake vent, the good news is, is as air is flowing down the door panel, it's gonna hit here. It doesn't just stop. It's actually gonna rise and go over the beautiful fenders. Now underneath these fenders, like I was saying, we still have an 18 inch wheel. You can see a little bit thicker sidewall, but these are still 275. So this is an 18 by 10 inch wheel, 275 on the width, 40 series sidewall, and those Michelins are gonna make sure that you get the stick that you deserve to get traction out of the turns. Now, when you come around the bend, I tell you, it's, it's like they carved this car from just a single piece of clay. Really love the flow, the ductile spoiler sticking up. You get the same sexy LED taillights with turn singles, and then the rear diffuser that, like I said, was taken off. It looks like it was taken off one of their Le Mans winning race cars. Now, so two main ways you could tell the difference that this is a 2.0, those wheels, there's no Brembo calipers, no bright red Brembo calipers. Here's another little tip. If you look at the nice diffuser, instead of getting those larger brushed aluminum tips, you're getting stainless steel, polished stainless steel. They're a little bit smaller, but you're still gonna have that beautiful LED reverse light. And this, I'm telling you, this diffuser, Tom and I eat lunch off of. Every time we get one of these, we just have our lunch. This is our table. We just pull up some chairs. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the biggest talking point Let's pop the hood and check out that two liter inline four turbocharged engine. All right, guys, the biggest talking point, you still got hydraulic hood struts to hold up that massive hood underneath this engine cover. And what I like about the engine cover is, first of all, it mimics exactly what the 3.0 Super looks like, but they designed it in a way to take up some of that extra space so that when you pop the hood, it's not just you see a smaller engine and just a ton of room, but underneath that flat black cover with the stripes on it that's going to be that inline four two liter turbocharged engine they use a twin scroll turbocharger so performance you're looking at 255 horsepower 295 pound feet of torque it's all routed through a zf eight speed automatic transmission just like the 3.0 and if you're wondering well joe this car's got to be lighter it's got to be lighter than the 3.0 and guess what you are 100 percent correct the 2.0 weighs in at 3,181 pounds. That is less compared to the big brother, the 3.0, which weighs around 3,400 pounds. Zero to 60 in this 2.0, you're looking right at five seconds flat. Here's the interesting news, is that top speed is the same as the 3.0 because they're both electronically limited to 155 miles an hour. This one does not have an uh, electronically limited slip differential. So that is a little another performance difference compared to the 3.0. But while we go ahead, we talked about the engine, we see it's different. Let's hear what it sounds like. All right, guys, we're inside the all new 2021 Toyota Supra 2.0. I know you want to know, well, Joe, how much is this? You're talking about value. How much is this vehicle? Now, just like with the 3.0 review, because we are the first journalists, auto journalists, to get to be granted the accessibility by Toyota to review this car, they want us to hold off on pricing information and driving impressions. Now, we are going to drive it and you're gonna be able to see this 2.0 rock and roll. You're gonna to have to wait though for the usual Rady's Rides on throttle discussion. That's gonna come May 13th. That's gonna be a totally separate review, totally separate review, and then there's gonna be a pricing review in June. So mark your calendars, that's gonna be coming. But let's see what you get when we're talking about value in this car. So door panel, same exact door panel as the 3.0. Love the soft material, love the silver on the door handle there. You get great leather with that beautiful white contrast stitching. 
and I also like the way the gloss black has a nice metallic to it. It really hides the fingerprints. You do have a JBL sound system, but you have less speakers in the 2.0, and then you're getting that same small pocket. It's big enough for about two tacos from Taco Bell. As you come into the interior, because obviously this car is not about the eating, it's about the driving, dash, same exact layout. So if you got into this car and you didn't know it was a 2.0, so far, so good, they're pretty much the same. Everybody for 2021, I sound like Oprah Winfrey, everybody gets an 8.8 inch infotainment system screen. So everybody's getting 8.8 inches. How often have you ever heard that in your life? But whether you get the base 3.0, the 3.0 premium, the limited edition, or this 2.0, you're getting 8.8 inch infotainment system screen, nice touch screen. It's got your Sirius XM radio. We're rocking out to 80s on eight. Very, very easy to use, very clean functions. Let me throw it in reverse show you what we're working with backup camera, same exact system with the trajectory and all that great sensory technology so that you don't bump your beautiful Supra into anything. Put it back into park. I'm gonna hit menu here and there we are. We drop down. I love the way they integrate these AC vents. Very, very nice touch. You have a nice uh, bright silver aluminum start stop button. You got your radio controls, AC controls. So you're still gonna get dual climate, um, if you notice, you don't get any heated seats. So that's something in the 2.0, no heated seats. There's more of that black that I was telling you about that doesn't show fingerprints. They still spilled some carbon fiber in here. So you're gonna get the same amount of carbon fiber. Love the soft touch material everywhere. Now down in this area, instead of getting wireless charging, you just have a nice little cubby for some M&Ms. You also have a USB and a 12 volt on the 3.0. Uh, premium that is wireless charging, but I love the carbon fiber. This is controlling that eight speed, that ZF eight speed automatic transmission. Everything else is the same. You're getting that iDrive controller to go through your uh, infotainment system. You have two different modes. They keep it simple. I like that. Sport and non-sport. So you hit this, you go into sport, the exhaust, it's an active exhaust. It gets a little bit louder. You can shut off your traction control, electric e-brake. You got your two cup holders, same great armrest. Here's the other big way to tell that this is a 2.0, the seats. So instead of being full leather, you get leather with this beautiful stitching. I love the gray and the red, and then Alcantara just spilled straight down the center with some red behind it. Very, very classy. They're not electric. So non-electric assist for both the passenger and the driver compared to the electric assist flexibility in the 3.0. But why don't you come over to the business end, I'll show you behind the wheel of this Super 2.0. All right guys, business end, behind the wheel. So here are your manual controls. You do have electric though to adjust the bolstering, which is great, and also the lower lumbar. Everything else though is manual controls. You still get that beautiful uh, bright silver Toyota script here. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, the speaker system, how, how many speakers are we going from? We're going basically from 12 speaker sound system down to four. So that's the difference with the JBL sound system. Business end though, steering wheel, same exact steering wheel. I, I wish they would make the horn button area just a little bit sexier, um, especially this dead area down here, but you're gonna get those large paddles behind the wheel to go up and down that eight speed, that ZF eight speed automatic transmission. And then the dash, you don't get a head up display, but the dash is exactly the same. So very, very clean. You got your fuel gauge, your cooling gauge, and then of course you have that tachometer and digital speedometer in the center there. And what's really wonderful is like I said, you hit sport, then everything changes. I like that. But no head up display. And to be honest with you, I don't think you're gonna miss the head up display in this 2.0 because it only gave you your speed and what the speed limit was. But why don't we go ahead, let's check out that cargo area and see how usable this bargain sports car is. All right, guys, time to check out the cargo area. Before we do, you're going to get that same exact key fob, whether you go 3.0 or 2.0 on the back, you have your buttons to lock and unlock. We're going to pop the rear hatch area. You lift it up right here and you can see you're going to get that same great amount of space. So if you're wondering, well, Joe, what, what kind of space are we looking at here? You're basically looking at 10.2 cubic feet of space and if you notice up top you're still getting that bracing across the tops of where the shock absorbers are mounted so still that same engineering into the chassis don't think that they just plucked out the inline six 
and threw in the 2.0 and called it a day, you're still going to get that same great chassis engineering. The only other major difference chassis-wise is you're not getting the additional bracing at the front end of the business. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the best part. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take this super down some twisty bits. guys it's been another great day with a toyota supra i've never had a bad day believe it or not with a toyota supra but want to thank corey and zach right off the bat for allowing radies rides access to the new supra 2.0 we were one of the first automotive journalists to get access and to bring it to you guys because they know you guys love these sports cars is the all new 2021 super 2.0 that perfect balance of performance budget and also styling i think really that toyota has done something very very smart and definitely you want to stay tuned for the two other reviews that are going to follow this one on the super to learn about the driving impressions and also hear that pricing but if it's cars like these these sports cars that are about hey bring in some value it's not about exotics it's about bringing some value so that everyday people like you and i could drive them leave a comment in the comment section if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to Supra Tom Motioner, Big Guns McGee. Not only does he have super muscles, but he also is digging this Supra. So thank you, Tom, for your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.